Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to look at a very important topic today on Footbin regarding the most popular players in FIFA 20. This has major ramifications for trading, for investing, and for um, just, you know, team building and squad building in FIFA 20. So I wanted to bring this video to you guys today talking about some of the things that we can learn from finding out which players are the most popular in this game of FIFA 20. Now, obviously, we're going to be using a tool on Footbin, one of my favorite websites. If you guys don't know about Footbin.com, this is a website you definitely need to be using. Um, it is the one-stop shop for everything you need to know about FIFA. Player card prices, uh, predictions for Team of the Week, live trackers for ones to watch uh, or Player of the Month, ones to watch cards, and Team of the Week contenders as well and plenty of other tools predicting the team of the week, um, predictions, obviously player reviews, and obviously uh, getting to know a lot of the prices on this game in terms of graphs, uh, building a squad on here as well. There's some information about SBCs. This website has it all. And this is one area that I think a lot of people are starting to know about, but I think it's still overlooked. It's under the players tab. We're going to go to PGP, which stands for Player Game performance. This is basically a uh, data that Footbin collects from inside of the game. So basically when there's a card listed up on the market, like we saw uh, Messi on there. So basically Footbin gets this data um, from the live transfer market on FIFA Ultimate Team. It takes the data from all these cards that you see here. So there's uh, 21 games played, 18 goals scored. So they'll add up all of these games played and the goals scored. And it'll basically come out with this graphic uh, right here on Footbin, where it has the price, the games, goals, assists, yellows, reds. I don't know how they, I guess they can, yeah, they can They can tell goal, uh, yellows and reds from the item details on foot and the top chemistry card as well. So this kind of shows you what cards are being used the most, how they're being used, and how good they are in game. If you order by the goals ratio, it can kind of tell you which cards are better in game. Honestly, this, this player game performance page has so many different uses. Uh, but I, evidently, or honestly, the best thing that it does, that's what I'm trying to say, the best thing that this PGP tab does on Footbin, this information basically tells you which cards are the best and most popular cards in FIFA Ultimate Team. So I'm going to sort by a version gold rare because I don't want to look at any icons or informs at the moment right now. I want to focus on gold cards um, and we're going to focus on those. So if we click on the order by games ratio, so I want to order by the most used cards. I'm also going to sort this for PlayStation 4 to get an even better representation for the console that I'm on. These are the cards that have been used right now are sorted by games. These are the cards that have been used the most in FIFA 20 based on um, the cards that have been listed up on the market, all those games added together and combined. Ndombele, Lucas Hernandez, Nicolas Pepe, Marcus Rashford, Usman. Look at this list. You can learn a lot from looking at this list right here. And I want to talk about a lot of the things that we can know from this in terms of trading and in terms of squad building, especially coming out of a day. Like right now when you're watching this video, Division Rivals Rewards, the second set of these rewards ever since the full game has, or since EA Access has come out, the second set of Division Rival Rewards of FIFA 20 is out. And you might see some of these guys going up in price a good amount. And that's when I was looking at investments for this week, I talked to a lot of people about Wijnaldum. I mentioned Werner. Um, I didn't really talk about Martial. I think he's a little bit overpriced, but you know, rewards is happening. His price might have dipped and now it's going back up. We'll see. Um, and a lot of these cards right here you're going to see as well are on the lower rated side of things. As we get later into FIFA, you'll see some of those cards move up the list that are, you know, Fabinho, Kevin De Bruyne, Aguero, guys that are higher rated because they're going to get played with more in this game because people are going to be able to afford them. Right now, early game, you see a lot of these cards appear at the top are like 81s, 83s, 84. We don't have a, okay, here's an 89 Griezmann. So Griezmann is the highest rated card up here by far. So how far do we have to go down here before we get another higher rated player? We get an 85 in Rodrigo right there, 85 Allen. Um, you know, 89 Allison is the next highest at 66,000 games. But the most interesting to see thing to see from this is you can kind of tell what kind of cards people are using in this game. Premier League and good nationalities always top this list, especially guys that are new transfers that are hyped up, like this Nicolas Pepe card. 
127,000 games. He is a new right winger in the Premier League, a position that has before not had a ton of depth, especially for his FIFA card that he has gotten. So that makes his card probably pretty good to trade with because what this means is a lot of people are using this card. That means more people are going to be buying it and selling it on the market at a given time, making a team with it, possibly allowing that card to rise up more. But also, it could mean that, that just people are trying that card out. You know, They like that card. It's hyped up. So it could be entering and exit the market a lot more, possibly chances for undercuts or snipes um, because of that. Uh, so right now in the early game, this graph is very important because it shows us who people are making teams with. And if you know what people are making teams out of, um, you, can, you can kind of see where their upgrades would progress. And also you can see what other link investments or what which one of these cards might you, you be able to look at and invest in for a opportunity like Thursday flipping, like uh, a time period when the market is gonna to continue to go up like right now, and possibly make some better judgment on your investments because right now people are building teams to play weekend league and that is what is most important uh, in this game. People are building teams to play weekend league, and you want to find out which players people are using to get get on those players before they go up and possibly make some coins. So, the first thing that I notice when I look at a lot of this is I see I see a ton of Premier League, but what I see more than Premier League is French nationality. Ben Yedder, Martial, Usman Dembele, Lucas Hernandez, Tangai and Dembele, Musa Sissoko, Griezmann. Look at, I mean, out of these top, like, what, 10 or 15 guys right here, definitely over half of them are French. And I cannot tell you in how many, like, I cannot tell you how many concept squads I've seen on Twitter or I've seen um, on, you know, somebody has sent me their squad in, in Discord or on Twitter or something in the past couple of days. I can honestly, so many people are rocking French teams right now because it just makes for easy links. And the cards from the French nationality are very OP. Usman Dembele is a right wing that tons of people want to have in this game. He's going up crazy high in price. Um, same with Ben Yedder, who is out of packs right now because he has the ones to watch. Martial, I packed that card in tradable yesterday, actually, off stream and uh, not on a video. A lot of people, that shows up in a lot of people's squads. I see so many front three with uh, the French guys like Martial, Ben Yedder, or Dembele, and you can go so many ways with your squad because you have those links already up top that you can do a lot of things below in the midfield into the defense to really change things up. Now, this is this is a very useful way to tell which cards are getting used the most so which ones could rise um, for weekend league, but I also want to talk about how this could show the progression of people using cards in FIFA Ultimate Team. So, and Dombley up here, 81 rated card, 190,000 games played. Very, very hyped up card. Um, I want to show you a lot of these cards on here. Look at their ratings. Sissoko, 81. He's a very OP card. Pretty good. Uh, some of these ratings in these cards, 83 rated Lucas, 83 rated, 82 rated, um, 82 rated, 82 rated. Some of these guys are kind of lower ratings. Uh, St. Maximin, 79 rated. Joe Gomez, 80 rated. A lot of people, I especially look at uh, Joe Gomez in the situation, a lot of people are going to graduate from a card like Joe Gomez, who is 1.9 thousand coins right now. A lot of people are going to graduate from this card to a better card very, very soon in FIFA. This card's 2,000 coins. I wouldn't expect his PGP, the number of games played for this card, I would not expect that to go up a ton as much as it has already. And that you can honestly tell by his price. So much of his demand was for early game. You saw his price go all the way up to 6,000 coins, and it has rapidly dropped off to right around 2K. I think you're going to see his card price stay in that area just because people aren't using this card anymore. They've upgraded. They've upgraded to a guy like Lucas Hernandez, who was above him. You know, this center back right here, Bayern center back, obviously it's not the same league or the same nation as Joe Gomez. But if you're going to upgrade Joe Gomez, you, you might go with somebody like Laporte. You might go with somebody like a Vertonghen. Who, I mean, that's a pretty massive upgrade. Maybe not in terms of pace, but just in terms of defensive ability. So that's one other thing to note about this list. Is that some cards that are up here, like Ndombele and Sissoko, I see for right here, they're probably going to get passed up by guys like Firmino, by guys like Fabinho, by other Spanish midfielders that are higher rated. Maybe a guy like Matuidi. Maybe a guy like Conte, you're going to see some of those guys start to rise up the list as more people and more people are able to afford those cards 
on this game. As we looked in here, we only had like what, three cards over 86 rated that were on this list and the rest are 83s, 84s, and a few 85s. Uh, and that just shows you that a lot of people are still using the lower rated cards in this game and that um, people are gonna be upgrading their teams you know, sooner rather than later. So that's what I wanna talk about with gold cards. I now wanna mention, we're gonna talk about informs because this is also very useful for inform cards. Now, you know, it's almost easier if you look at this inside of the, you know, it's almost easier if you look at this from inside the actual inform page. So like, we'll take a look in a second at team of the week one and we'll look at the most popular cards from that. But if you look at these informs so far, the most popular inform from FIFA 20 so far has been Danielle Malin, 39,000 coins. This card has been on a crazy roller coaster ride of a price. Look at this. The man was like 14K right away first week, dipped down 21,000 coins during EA access, and then absolutely boomed because of this, the ins, just how good this card is in game. And it's an inform. People like to use the informs, and he gets pretty good links. I mean, he gets a link to Promes, which people like. And I think it also helped that we had Tagliafico uh, in Team of the Week 1 or Team of the Week 2. Uh, as well, that's a lot of that's a card that a lot of people wanted to link to um, that card right there. But then you see the second most popular option just behind Malin is Serge Aria, right back, and Thomas Delaney. These are the three guys I definitely would have told you would be the most popular. Uh, they are from Team of the Week number one, and they're just the most popular because uh, they've been out the longest. You have to take that in consideration as well. But you look at their statistics, you look at their nation or their league or their team. In fact, here, uh, Delaney's got the Dortmund badge. There's a lot of Dortmund new signings this year and wants to watch. Dortmund has some hype. Bundesliga has the hype. And obviously, uh, the Serge Aurier inform is perfect for somebody who wants to make a hybrid squad with Aurier and the, one of the most popular used gold cards we looked at, Sissoko or Andamale. It's perfect to have those guys in there. You're probably going to see that Aurier card and those center mids in a lot of different teams um, right there. So this is a very popular tool. The PGP is a very popular tool to use with informs as well. And this is kind of a tool that you're going to want to use probably in a time frame of like Sunday or Monday. So the team of the week has been out for a few days. You're looking to invest in some cards before they start rising, before they go out of packs. You're looking to invest in some cards that you think are going to be some of the most used. So we're going to look through some of the Team of the Week cards right now. And I would show you guys what I would do in terms of, okay, I'm looking for some last minute Team of the Week investments for a Team of the Week down the road. This is how I might choose some of my investments. 12,000 games played for James Madison, a center mid, more of like a center attacking mid. He has to kind of compete with a guy like Deli Ali. He's got a nice card. It's an inform. Four star, four star, 14,000 coins is what his price was. He's now out of packs. He's gone to 18. This would be definitely a good card to invest in considering all the hype that he has around himself there. Let's look at, let's look at a guy like Thiago Silva. So Thiago Silva, only 6,000 games played. Not a ton of hype. He's already risen out of packs, but that just makes sense, right? He's PSG. He is Brazilian. He's been a big name in FIFA for a long time. That's a card that you would probably expect to rise out of packs. I'm with that. Let's go to a more questionable player. Um, let's go with Herod. Is Herod a card that I think will get used a lot? Probably not. Well, you can see, only a thousand games played. His price hasn't moved at all. He was right here at 10K. He's 11K out of packs. His price has not moved at all. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't expect it to. Orban, probably not a lot of games played as well. Again, 1,400. Doesn't look like a very usable card with the lack of pace. So that wouldn't be a good one to invest in. I'm interested to see Kolarov. Okay, 6,000 games played. He looks more like a center mid or a CDM to me based on his work rates. He's a high medium work rates. Interesting. Okay. Um, so I'm not so sure about that one. He'll probably rise up a little bit. Still a bit intrigued on that. What about Brozovic? 13K for this card right now. He's got 5,000 games played, so not a ton. He is Serie A, though. So if you have any Serie A hype, you might use him a little bit. Now let's look at Trent Alexander-Arnold. 9,000 games. And this is a pretty expensive right back. 9,000 games that have been played with this card. Pretty expensive right back. He's gone from about 88,000 coins where he was uh, on Saturday after the full game release. He's now risen up to 100K, so that's a nice rise. And I think probably one of the most used cards from this team in the week has to be Thurum, right? Yeah, 12,000 games played for this card. Very usable and affordable, cheap beast. 18K, 17K, he's already out of packs up to 21. This is going to be a very nice investment. Again, because we looked at all those French cards 
in the PGP over here, when we looked at the gold cards, there were so many of those French guys up top. This is another easy way to get a French guy in your team. Maybe you've been using Ben Yedder or a cheaper option. I mean, you can throw this guy in for 20,000 coins. He's got some beast stats. And you can try out a card. This was a phenomenal, phenomenal investment. I got one in my team right now. Uh, I got it for like 17K. Making some money on that already. But this is just a decent way to look through the team of the week every week and possibly pick out some investments. Uh, this a tall card. I would not have guessed that this card would have had 10,000 games played, but look at what this card has done from its lowest point. 25,000 coins on Monday. He hit a low point, and he's now already up to 33,000 coins out of packs. A very good all-around card with the five-star weak foot, the four-star skills. Not insane stats, but just something different. Like his base card is a right back. He plays left wing, gets a massive stat boost. In a card like this, you I wouldn't maybe expect to have a ton of hype, but look at the games played. This would have tipped me off if I would have seen this earlier. Could have been a possible investment. So, again, this is something to watch when you're thinking about investing in Team of the Week, uh, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, uh, especially on a Sunday or a Monday when the Weekend League games are through. You can see which cards were used a lot in the Weekend League. And uh, if they have a lot of games, that means probably a decent amount of people were using them. And that also means that the, that the demand is there for that card. So you see a lot of games on a card that bodes well for that card to possibly rise in the future. I would not expect a lot of, of games on this William Jose. 3,000 games, I bet that's only because he's Fr uh, not French, Brazilian. So he gets a few links there. Uh, but other than that, a lot of these cards, maybe maybe a couple thousand games on Caputo. He's got a nice card as well, 11,000, up 1,000 coins out of packs. But this this PGP tab, again, it's very, very useful for the informs. It's very useful for the gold cards, knowing what cards are going to be the most overpowered at the beginning of the game. And it can honestly be um, a good way to find cards, again, like I mentioned, that are very overpowered. Let's sort, let's sort by gold to game ratio. And we're going to sort by console PlayStation 4. And we're also going to sort by version all gold. So all gold cards... Uh, you kind of have to be careful with this because early on in the game, you're going to have some guys in here like Soldado. Just don't get a lot of games played. Look, 19 games played, 1.32 goals per game. Somebody scored a lot of goals with this card. It is what it is. You see Ronaldo with a 1.27 goal to game ratio, Mbappe with 1.1, Aubameyang with 1.02, Son with a 0.96, Aguero 0.95. So you can really look through here, pick through some of the low-rated goals that don't belong, but you can really tell which guys are great possibly performing very well in this game based on some of their stats. Uh, I like to see Aguero you know, up here. Aguero is usually up here. Aubameyang is the number three striker behind Ronaldo and Mbappe. That's very interesting. 1.02 goals per game with that card. Interesting. Harry Kane down here. Timo Werner. And obviously, as we get more games played, as more people play FIFA, you will see those numbers change week in and week out. And you'll get to start to maybe feel out some of the cards that are more overpowered and more usable in this game. But that's what I wanted to do today, show you guys some of the best players and the most popular players in FIFA 20 using that PGP tab on Footbin. So hopefully this guy, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.